Hi everyone. Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a function 1 by t in bracket 1 minus cos t. We have to find its Laplace transform. So you know that 1 by t is there. That means we are going to use effect of division by t. Before that, I, we always start from right hand side. We, we, we first consider that bracket 1 minus cos t. And after that, I will consider that 1 by t also. Let us find its Laplace. So Laplace of 1 minus cos t. So you know that when minus sign is there, we take separate separate Laplace. Laplace of 1, which is 1 by s minus Laplace of cos t. We have a standard formula. Laplace of cos a t is s upon s square plus a square. So formula says its value is s upon a square plus a, a is 1. So 1 square, which is 1. So we got Laplace of this bracket. Now consider 1 by t. Laplace of 1 by t, 1 minus cos t. So I am going to use effect of division by t. 1 by t is there, that means effect of division by t. What we do in case of effect of division by t? We simply take integration. Here also I will do take same. Integration s to infinity. Okay, limits are fixed. Huh? Limits are s to infinity. Integration of its Laplace of its neighboring function. Its Laplace already we have. Let me write here. So 1 by s minus s upon s square plus 1 ds. So we have to solve this integration. So there are two important formulas of integration which we frequently use here. Okay, let me write those formulae. Derivative of 1 by x, you are familiar with that, which is log x, right? And the next one is derivative of f dash of x upon f of x. This is equal to log f of x. Okay, so these two formulae we frequently use in such type of integration. So 1 by s minus sign is there separate separate integration you can take integration of 1 by s by using this formula we will have log s right log s minus. What will happen in this case we cannot take integration directly okay. So what will I do I will write as it is I will not simplify it first. I will first think about it I am writing 1 by s as it is we cannot take its integration directly since we have to use this formula here. Okay. What is this formula? Derivative of denominator should be at numerator. Derivative of denominator is 2s. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of denominator is 2s. 2s is not there. There is only 1s. So I will adjust 2 there. So I am adjusting to 1 by 2 into 2s upon s square plus 1 ds. That means derivative of denominator we have adjusted at numerator so that's why we can use second formula so that means integration of this one we can easily find integration of this one also we can easily find from the second formula so now i'm taking integration so this is equal to integration of 1 by s is log s minus 1 by 2 is a constant no need to worry about it integration of this term using that formula derivative of log of denominator so log of denominator s square plus 1 with limit s to infinity. Have you understood? That means some adjustment we done there. We solve it, uh, solve it and we got by solving integration we got this one. After that we have to put upper limit. We have to put lower limit. But we will not put it first. First we simplify it and then we will put upper limit and lower limit. So 1 by 2 I am taking common. 1 by 2 I am taking common here. But see, there is no 1 by 2 to take common. So that's why I suppose to write 2 log s minus log s square plus 1 with limit s to infinity. If you multiply again by 1 by 2 to each term, you will have the same term, right? So I'm using the property of log. Let me write here n log a, which is equal to log a raised to n. And the second property is log a minus log b is equal to log a upon b. So you are familiar with all these properties of log. So you, let us use these properties here. Let us see what will you get. This is equal to 1 by 2. I have already taken outside. So this is log 2 log s. So you can use this formula and this formula says log s square. So log s square minus log s square plus 1 right s square plus 1 with limit s to infinity. Further, we can use this property of log log a minus log b, which is log a upon b. So this is equal to 1 by 2 log 
a square upon a square plus 1 with limits s to infinity. So we use all properties of sock and we got this one. So now we can put upper limit, lower limit. If you put upper limit infinity, you will have infinity at numerator, you will have infinity at denominator also. By L hospital's rule, its value will be 0. So that's why I'm writing directly 0 minus log. If you put lower limit s, you will have the same term s square upon s square plus 1. So I'm again using the same property of log n log a is equal to a s to n. So that minus 1 you can take as a power of that bracket. So 1 by 2 log a square upon a square plus 1 raised to minus 1 by this property of log. Do you know how to make that power positive? The power has a negative sign. How to make it positive? It's very simple. Simply interchange numerator denominators, power will be positive. So this is equal to 1 by 2 log. I'm uh, interchanging numerator denominator. So we'll have this one. Okay. So this is the final answer. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.